Temple College Professional Development. What's new in Windows? Windows 7. With Craig Collins, Professional Development Coordinator. In this workshop, we'll briefly cover gadgets, the Start button, Taskbar, the Start menu, the new library metaphor, changes to menus, switching windows, and running programs. Gadgets are simply small applications that can be added to the desktop, such as weather, calendars, clocks. These items can be dragged anywhere around the desktop, whereas in previous versions of Windows, they all resided in a sidebar. To add a gadget, right-click on the desktop and choose Gadgets. To modify a gadget, simply point at the gadget to get to the Close, Resize, and Drag tools. On the Windows desktop, right-click and choose Gadgets to browse additional gadgets or point at a gadget to change the size or to drag the gadget to a different place. The Start button. The new Start button is round, but when you mouse over it, it displays the Start identifier. The taskbar keeps track of not only the programs that are running, but acts as a quick launch bar. Right-click the taskbar to change the way it works. Note the items to the right of the taskbar. To the right is the system notification area. This tracks the programs Windows has started. Some may be hidden. Click the arrow to reveal. The box to the extreme right allows you to peek at your desktop. These are running programs. These are quick launch items. By right-clicking, I can get to properties and change the way the taskbar, start menu, or toolbars work. This is the system notification area where you can show hidden icons. These are the programs that Windows has started. If another window is filling the screen, clicking the box to the extreme right will let you see the desktop. The start menu no longer expands out when clicked on individual items. Click all programs to access items not visible. Items at the top were pinned or added to the menu. Right click an icon to pin it to the start menu. Pinned items include an arrow tool to access recently used documents. These documents can be pinned to keep on the list for later. On the start menu these are pinned items with the recently opened documents list. This is a pinned item. These are the last 10 programs started in Windows. If you choose all programs, you can browse additional folders or choose the back button. On the start menu, the gray bar allows you to quickly open storage locations, including the new library which holds your documents, images, movies, etc. You can also tweak the system in control panel, manage devices, or get help. When finished, choose shut down or click the arrow to get more options. These lead to the libraries where you can store your documents, pictures, and music, or computer where you can see all storage devices, the control panel to change the settings and customize the functionality of your computer and get help. When finished you can shut down or choose the arrow to choose a different option. When you open a window you may wonder where the menu bars are. Simply press the Alt key on your keyboard and let go and the menus will be revealed. Pressing the Alt key reveals the menus. Another feature is arrow glass or transparent title bars. Note you can see through the title bar if not maximized. I'm not sure how this helps you work, but it's pretty cool. Notice you can see through the title bar. Switching windows. If you have several programs running, you can click an item on the taskbar to bring it to the foreground 
or you can use Alt Tab or Start Tab. Press and hold the Alt key. While holding down the Alt key, press Tab until your desired program becomes available, then let go of both keys. Pressing and holding Alt and then pressing Tab until the desired window becomes available. New in Windows 7 is the Start Key tab. Press and hold the Start key. While holding down the Start key, tap the Tab key until your desired program becomes visible and let go of both keys. The run command is no longer accessible directly from the start menu. It's been buried, but there is a fast alternative. Use the search box. Just type in the name of the URL, program, or file. You can quickly access the item. Simply type in notepad, and notepad opens.